The Democrats are united in their America last policies. They are united in their desire to shred our protections in the Constitution, the limits on government's power to harm us. Now, you'd think, you'd think the alleged opposition party, the Republicans, would be united at stopping Democrats. You would be wrong. The Republicans' identity crisis harms America. That's our focus in today's preamble. Instead of being angry at a party that elects leaders that spit on that party's platform, one of you got angry at me yesterday. Kenneth wrote, quote, I've been watching your show for over a year now, and I am a hardcore Republican. I find it offending how you continue to bash the Republican Party. I have never seen your name where you're running for in office. Your remarks and bashing of the Republican Party are nothing more than fueling the Democrats. Maybe you should start lifting up the Republican viewer and give some real insight. Maybe it's time you call out by name all the elected officials from both sides who need to be replaced and why you feel they should be replaced. Do the right thing before you lose me and other followers, end quote. Kenneth, first, I've never sought followers. I seek only compatriots those who wish to preserve this last bastion of hope for mankind on earth. I seek like-minded people who want the information I provide and will act on that information, not to put too fine a point on this, but Kenneth, where you been? We call out anyone, Republican or Democrat, who is working to deny the American people their rights under the Constitution. We identify enemies of liberty and freedom regardless of party. Why? Well, I have no political party. I wish I did, but I don't. No party today represents my constitutional limited government values. I am not a hardcore Republican. I'm a hardcore conservative. Ideologically, I'm as far above the modern day Republican Party as they are above socialists and the Democrat Party. Now, this allows me to be honest and open with my audience, an audience I serve if only all of your Republicans did the same for their voters. Kenneth, your suggestion that I lift up the Republican viewer, just what are you suggesting? Are you suggesting I ignore GOP treachery so that your team can win? To what end? Because here's the truth, Kenneth. When your team wins, they elect leaders who enable Democrats to harm you and your family. That's the truth. The 20 so-called rebels are pointing out a major flaw with your Republican Party. It can be summed up like this. The Democrats seek to destroy any conservative or Republican they can find. The Republicans, under their current leadership, seek to normalize the destruction unleashed by Democrats. Now, I may be a silly little conservative, but shouldn't an opposition party, you know, actually oppose the other party? Let me give you some examples here, Kenneth. For the first time in history, Nancy Pelosi, the disgraced former Speaker of the House, denied the Republicans seats on a select committee. The GOP is set to form some select committees of their own once they pick a Speaker. Has Kevin McCarthy pledged to reciprocate the treatment the Republicans suffered at the hands of Democrats? Treatment that the Democrats have earned by their disgraceful, divisive, and unfair actions? No. In fact, there is a sizable number of Republicans who are committed to making sure the Democrats pay no price for their bastardization of the Constitution and establishment government processes. Here's another example. Kevin McCarthy blasted Matt Gates for allegedly saying that he doesn't care if the chamber elects Representative Hakeem Jeffries, the incoming Democrat leader, as Speaker. Now, if that's true, that's abhorrent. McCarthy is rightly blasting the idea of working with the party to empower that party that 22% of Americans consider the greatest threat to the USA, the Democrats. However, moderate squish Congressman Don Bacon of Nebraska threatened he'd work with Democrats if he doesn't get his choice. Kevin McCarthy is speaker. Now, there's no condemnation from Kevin McCarthy, a man who wants to lead all Republicans, allegedly against Democrats, of what Mr. Bacon is doing. But it's not just McCarthy who will selectively call out other Republicans. Mitch McConnell and 17 other Senate Republicans stabbed their fellow House Republicans in the back with that disgusting, disgraceful testament to lazy legislators, the omnibus. In fact, here are the 18 Republicans on your screen, Kenneth. This isn't the first time 
We have highlighted these people, and we will continue to do so. But the wretched 18 undermined the House Republicans' ability to fulfill their promises that they made when they were elected to the House majority. Every House Republican campaigned on defunding. The Democrats' 87,000 goose-stepping IRS agents hired to target our middle class with our cumbersome and moronic tax code. The wretched 18 Republican senators made sure those promises could not be kept. But there's more. Every House Republican campaigned on stopping the Democrats' illegal immigration push that has resulted in 6 million illegal aliens, untold illicit guns, and tons of lethal drugs into America. The wretched 18 Senate Republicans worked with Democrats to put language in the omnibus that prohibited, prohibited any money from being used to stop illegal immigration. Now, has any House Republican condemned Mitch and his merry band of Democrat enablers? No. The wretched 18 GOP senators made sure that your representatives couldn't fulfill the promises that they made to you that would have benefited you and your family. And House Republicans can't even unify and bring themselves to criticize those so-called Senate Republicans. But we know they can. GOP squishes always lash out against their conservative party members. In fact, George W. Bush, former president, who sat silently through the misery inflicted on this nation by Barack Obama, was moved to break his silence only to criticize a fellow Republican, Donald J. Trump, because Trump thought the GOP should oppose Democrats' bad ideas. In fact, the GOP is always willing to speak up against other Republicans if those Republicans get it into their head that they should be opposing Democrats. And Kenneth, you want to blame me? Perhaps you should blame those who were at fault. Today, Mitch McConnell is locking arms with Joe Biden to celebrate impoverishing our great-great-grandchildren, the bipartisan, reckless, and irresponsible infrastructure spending, which has few protections to keep the money and, you know, your money from flowing out of America into the hands of communist China. This is why the Beijing brothers, McConnell and Biden, are celebrating. We all know what happened the last time Mitch teamed up with a left-wing extremist to fleece the American taxpayer. Uh, I'm sure that when you implemented the Recovery Act, your staff briefed you on many of the challenges of the permitting process and the impact on putting Americans back to work. And that's, that's exactly what we see in American business as well. Shovel-ready was not as uh, <laughs> shovel-ready as we expected. <laughs> yeah, just billions of dollars. I want you all to imagine yourselves as lovable, cuddly puppies. What's your favorite breed of dog? Imagine you're a little husky, a, a little basset hound or a little golden lab. Joe Biden, his Democrats, and Mitch McConnell, along with other so-called Republicans, just teamed up to give we, the American puppies, a steaming pile of excrement. And now, Mitch McConnell and Joe Biden are locking arms and smiling and reveling, rubbing our noses in it. So, Kenneth, don't blame me. I'm not the one in your Republican Party delivering for Democrats. Perhaps you should blame your party. And then you should demand that your party make a decision. Just what kind of party will you be? Will you join the Democrats' destruction, or will you oppose it? Until they make up their minds, folks, the division and chaos that we're seeing in the Speaker's vote will continue.